So let's let's talk about this issue of of goal setting because I, I I feel like I have been um, I've been guilty I think of setting you know setting a, a goal for something that is. Uh, you know, setting these revenue goals. And and I think that a lot of owners, especially when you go to like Expo and you talk to a lot of the owners, uh, you you ask them where they're at. And the, it, the, the, I think like the gut response is, well, I'm at, you know, 900 or I'm at a million, but next year I want to go to two. You know, yeah. my goal is to get to two and a half. I want to be a $5 million company. And you're saying that, there's some inherent problems with that mindset. Can you tell me where your thought process is on that and why that's problematic thinking? Yeah, it can, and the method that they use can be a problem, but also how they measure it is a problem. And one of the biggest first mistakes when they go to the individual reps and they say, okay, I've got a sales target for you to hit your goal for the year, right? The first is the method they use. So in your example, to Orlando, you say, okay, it's a million dollar firm, or maybe they're already at 1.6 and they're trying to shoot for, you know, 2 million. The most common mistake they make, they say, okay, we've got three people selling. I'm the owner. I'm still doing a little bit of the selling. I've got two people that are out there. If they're in a million dollar company, it might be the owner and one sales rep. And they go, okay. Mm -hmm. So we want to get to 1.4 million. There's two of us. So they go like this. They go 1.4 divided by two equals 700K. That's your sales target. And if mm -hmm. they and if they have, you know, three people, it's 1.5 million. You go, okay, all of you, 500,000, 500,000, 500,000. They are not taking into account who is this person and do they have the capacity to drive to 500,000? This could be a brand new sales rep you pulled in, uh, you know, out of the field. It could right. be uh, a crew lead that you said, you know what, if, here's the second mistake owners make. My crew lead has the gift of gab. Let's move him into sales. Yeah. Here's my question. Why not make him the CFO? CFOs talk to people, right? <laughs> yeah. Why are you throwing him in the sales team? You haven't right. tested him. You haven't measured him. You don't know if he can do it. There's a formula for the people that can do it. Yeah. yeah. And you have to figure it out. 